Hi, welcome to the drink vlog. Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to make a surgical mask or kind of a surgical mask. Well, really just a face covering on a crown royal bag. So let's get started, shall we? So the first thing you do is you put your camera in the stand so that your hands are free to sew. And it's not big sewing, it's really easy. And then you take off the mask you're wearing and show the camera how you did it. So, this is just a regular Crown Royal bag. My sister had a bunch. I have taken a shoestring and sewn it on the end. I have taken the other end and looped it. These are my ear loops. Ear loop, ear loop. Inside, I have placed something that I would use as a filter, and I'll show you what it is in a minute as soon as I get this untied. You don't have to use a filter because really, it's to protect other people. But if you wanted to try this, you could. It is a bra cup <laughs> that I cut out of one of my old bras. So that just fits right in. You could use a coffee filter or a paper towel or another piece of fabric. Um, I put it right at the top seam. You could even wear one of those N95 masks with the valve and not get kicked off a plane because you'd have this over it. No one would know what was in your bag unless you chose to show them. So how did I do it? I took some thread. I took a needle and thread and a piece of fabric or a shoelace or a tie. This one is done with another tie that came on a package, actually a <clears throat> champagne package. And I took it and I put half. I took it in half. There we go, that's half of that. And I took that and centered it on the front seam. Okay, and now we've got our light on, so this is good. So I took that and I'm just gonna tack that. By tacking, I just mean I go like this. I get two layers of fabric the black layer and the purple layer, and I'm using contrasting fabric so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I loop it over the thread and the needle, and that makes a knot, and then another one, and yet another one, okay? And then we're gonna cut it, or you can use your teeth if you want. That's what I would usually do, but that's not so good for filming. Then you take and make another knot, like that. And then go a couple inches out. It doesn't have to be perfect. In the end, you're still going to be able to use the bag the way you were using it before, if you were using it. You can put things in it. You can put other masks in it. You could put your Crown Royal bottle back in it. In it. Uh, so we go through two layers of fabric, loop it over this needle, and pull. Through two layers of fabric, loop it over the needle, and pull. About three times will work for any, any job you're doing. Three times is the charm. Then you just take it like that around your finger, and that makes a knot. And then go over here. Oh, about the same distance. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't even have to look good. And you know what? If you're a guy and you even try this, you'll probably get dates because people will think it's cute. Through two layers of fabric over the needle. I'll do it one more time so you can see what I'm doing. This is not a mask that I have for sale. I'm just showing you how to make them. The masks I have for sale are CDC compliant, 100% cotton. I made them to donate to poor healthcare workers, but they stopped accepting them So, in general, so I decided to keep them. Uh, now I, have, I can't stop making them, so I have way too many. Now the next step is we're going to take and pull our drawstring evenly of the bag. 
make a loop for one ear. I didn't even bother putting a filter or anything resembling a filter or a bra cup in here because it really doesn't matter. You can do this and try it on and just tie them so they'll fit over your ears. You don't even need an elastic. You could use elastic and just sew it on like this if you want, but you don't need it. Here we go. There's another mask. So please like and share. Please make a crown royal mask for yourself and others. And please wear it because nobody, nobody wants to accidentally or unknowingly kill people by spreading a disease that they don't know they have. Thanks. Bye.